वेलकम टू क्रैक इट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्प्रिंग बूट एनोटेशन हाउ इज इट वर्क वॉट आर दोज एनोटेशन अलॉन्ग विद कोडिंग एग्जाम्पल्स एंड द फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वी हैव लॉन्च दिस चैनल न्यू सो वी रिक्वेस्ट यू टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू लाइक दिस कंटेंट As we know, Spring Boot is annotation based mostly and not the XML uh, based. We need to know the annotations, different types of annotations that Spring Boot uses. So let's try to understand the annotations first. So what is at Spring Boot application? At Spring Boot application, annotation is is used in the main class where we have our main class. There we use our at Spring Boot application, and this marks the main class of the Spring Boot application. So and this annotation is a combination of three annotations. What are those three annotations? At enable auto configuration annotation, at component scan, and at configuration. Let's see all these like what all these three annotations do in our slide. Before that, let's go to a code and see whether our main program has this annotation or not. And let's see the doc for it. We just created this entire application using the. Uh, Spring Boot initializer and this is the main class that is generated. So if we go see here, we have this at Spring Boot application in this main class. So this is what we discussed. This at Spring Boot application marks the main class of this application. And let's go and see what is there in the at Spring Boot configuration annotation. So if we see here, this includes three annotations as we just discussed one is like enable auto configuration and the other is at comp sorry at component scan and the, the other one is at configuration so spring boot application annotation is nothing but the combination of at enable auto configuration component scan and con at configuration annotation what is enable auto configuration annotation so Let's try to understand this with an example. Just now we have created a project and in that project we have added Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency. Did we add it Tomcat and Spring MVC? No, Spring Boot Boot automatically added that for me. Why it has added that for me? It is because, because of this at enable auto configuration annotation. So what is this enable auto configuration annotation? This annotation will scans the class path, find the libraries in the class path and then attempts to guess the best default configuration for them and finally auto configure all such beans whether that is required or not it like spring doesn't care it will auto configure all the best suitable configurations for these libraries in the class path. So for my Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency, the best default configuration is Tomcat and Spring MVC. Whether I am using it or not, that's secondary. Spring, Spring, Spring is not worried about it. But Spring will create automatically configure that to me. So do we do i need to enable anything no i don't need to enable anything for this auto configuration because by default it is enabled this at enable auto configuration annotation should be present in the root package then only all the sub package classes will be examined if it is not present in the root package and if it is present in the some other package only that package will get auto configured and not the other packages so I need to disable auto configuration. What do I need to do? That's very simple. If I need to like exclude a specific class, then I need to provide exclude equals of that class name here. We can give uh, many classes here with comma separated as well. So if I want to disable auto configuration for a speci uh, for a specific class, then what do I need to do? I need to exclude that specific class from my at enable auto configuration. This is from the Spring Docs that I have took this example. This is the implementation of at enable auto configuration. We can see that we have uh, uh, two parameters here. One is exclude and the one exclude name. We have used this exclude here. Yes, that is accepting an array of classes. So that as I told previously, we can uh, give any number of classes here with comma separated. All those classes will be excluded from the enable auto configuration. Suppose if I want, if I want to uh, provide the class names, then I can use exclude name here. Exclude name equals to, equals of what is that class name? For example, data source auto configuration. And this is also an array. We can give any number of parameters here with comma separated.
let's try to understand what at component is at component is a class level annotation and it is used to denote a class or a component also if we give any class as a at component what will happen internally so internally what will happen is that we are telling the spring framework that the instance of this class we need to like spring has to create the instance of this class and this instance of the class should be stored in the application context now the instances of the class or in the application context when at component scan annotation scans the class path these instances are readily available to it briefly what is at component annotation at component is a class level annotation and it will be present on top of the class the instances of the class will be present in the application context spring will place that the place this instances in the application context and when scanned these instances will be readily available what is at configuration annotation at configuration annotation is a class level annotation and if we define a class with the at configuration annotation we are informing spring that this class is going to generate beans and that is Uh, and those beans are being used by the application let's try to understand this with an example if we see here i have i have a class app config with at configuration annotation inside that we are generating two beans so we have two methods with at bean annotation so we are informing spring that we are going to create two beans from this at configuration class and if we look the bean definition close we can see that the generation of bean 1 is dependent on the generation of bean 2 and this is called as inter bean dependencies meaning bean 1 is dependent on bean 2 this type of inter bean dependencies in a class will work only if we have at configuration annotation let's read this so this method of declaring inter bean dependencies works only when this at bean method is declared in the at configuration class and not in the at component class what does that mean at configuration accepts inter bean dependencies whereas at component doesn't so at configuration class this is also at component but at component cannot act like a at configuration why because at component will not allow inter bean dependencies what is at component scan i have defined the annotation at component and at configuration in my application like we just discussed in the previous slide so i have defined it how will spring know that i have defined all these annotations in my class only if it scans the application for the annotations who will do this scanning of the application for the available annotations component scan will do yes at component scan enables spring to scan for annotations like configurations controllers and others that we defined in our application so and this annotation should be used along with at configuration annotation why because we need to specify the packages that we need to be scanned let's see this example here i have a class customer application and i have annotated with at configuration and at component scan so as we discussed this at component scan should be used with this at configuration annotation so i have a parameter here let's see what it is we have two parameters defined one is base packages and one is base package classes what does this base package mean so if i need to scan specific packages in my application then i need to provide all those packages which i need to scan for these annotations that i need to provide in base packages so which in all the packages i want to scan i need to provide that in base packages which in on the class if i want to uh, like uh, scan in a specific class then i need to provide that in a base package classes so i don't have any parameter here let's see i have just given like a let's consider i have just given like at configuration and at configuration scan and nothing is here what will happen this at component scan will scan only the package of this customer application because this at component scan is residing in the class customer application so it will scan all the packages and the sub packages in which it resides it will not scan the other packages let's try to understand that with an example suppose say i have this uh, at component scan annotation in a package b and i have defined at controller annotation in package b so package a has component scan package b has controller 
will this add component scan scans that package be no it will not why because i didn't provide anything i didn't provide any package it has to scan so it will not scan that if suppose i want that package b's controller to be scanned by this um, scan by the spring then i need to provide that package b here in my base packages so what are the interview questions that we covered today in this video so what is at spring boot application annotation how is it works what do we understand by the term auto configuration in spring boot how can we disable it what are the advantages of it what is at component scan annotation what is at configuration annotation and what is the difference between these two and what is at component scan annotation how is it working we will cover few other stereotype annotations like at controller at risk controller at service at repository all these annotations along with the coding examples in our future videos please stay tuned thanks for watching crack it please support us with your likes shares and subscriptions stay tuned for updates